it's, it's not just model more, it's everything. So in our science, the first thing you have to understand about all Earth, not all Earth science, but most Earth science, and certainly climate science, is that it's not a laboratory science. So we don't have experiments. Well, we don't have controlled experiments. Anymore. We're doing an uncontrolled one on the planet, but you only get to do it once. I mean, we can't, we can't make a, a, a copy of the atmosphere or the ocean in a lab that behaves like the real one and poke it and see what happens. So what we have to do, our only experiments, our only controlled experiments are on the computer, where we simulate the behavior in, um, in models, which are basically computer programs that are very, very complex mimics of the real climate system. Yeah. But those are only as, you know, the experiments are only as good as the models. These are simulations, they're not the real thing. So we have to, of course, sup, you know, combine that with actually observing the real system. Right. Even though it's not experiment. I mean, we, all we can do is observe what the climate is doing today. We can't change it. We can't see what if it were, you know, what if something were different? What if the sun were further right. away or the earth were spinning faster? We can only observe. But we, so we do observations. We do them from far away, from space. We do them close up by being on the ground or being in planes. And then we combine that with models to try to synthesize all the information and make inferences using, you know, s complex combinations of those things. Right. Um, and yes, so, so we, we need to, Keep doing that. That's why we're all here. Bye.